Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to win against the odds of uh, football bettings to always win and to know how, which team to play, which team not to play and for you to win the entire season of 2021 and 2022. So yesterday, as everyone knew, that uh, we had uh, the first match of English Premier League, Arsenal versus Brentford, and well, it was an upset, and Brentford uh, beat Arsenal to know, and in which I, I know that maybe everyone or most of the one who plays football betting has lost with Arsenal, also with the draw of Bayern Munich and the loss of Monaco FC, and many of you have lost many of people have lost and make the bookies gain money so now i have started this uh, this channel and i'm going to show you what is my my ways of doing betting and how i win so this i have started uh, this uh, excel sheet uh, like uh, one year ago for the 2020 and 2021 season and uh, what i'm going to do is that i I'm going to show you so firstly it's uh i take out in every leagues all around the world most of the leagues not every every leagues because i can't follow up all the leagues and i'm going to analyze the league and i'm going to take i'm going to pick out uh, all the teams that i'm going to play in that league and this this what you're seeing here is a team's column i took out i pick uh most of the teams that uh, are strongest in the country or strongest in the league so and i'm I'm not going to concentrate in other <coughs> in other teams from that league for example we have austria so sasbu is the one who dominates that league so i'm not going to lose my time and uh, going to see what uh, austria Vienna is doing rapid when is doing or other teams in that league so in that league, I'm going to play only Salzburg. Like Belgium, we have Club Bridge. And St. Gidlois has been promoted, but uh, the league is not so is not uh, quite uh, so that we know how which team is doing good, which team is bad. So I'm just let it just for you to explain. And I'm going to update uh, this Excel file maybe next week or two weeks when Club Bridge will start and all most of the match will will play and we will know in which direction we are going which club is going to is more likely to win the league and everything and also we have Krachi, Kracha which uh, Osijek and Dinamo Zagreb are doing good also and uh, so you see that in Egypt we have Zamalek and Al Hali Al Hali and Zamalek are the two one who is dominating the Egypt league so I'm not going <coughs> to bother what other team is doing. So these teams that I have uh, present here in in these uh, in the Excel sheet, I'm going to play only this, only this team. I'm going to play. I'm not going to bother what other teams are doing, or is are they losing, or is the odds are good or not. I'm going to play only these teams. So as you can see, there are many blank spaces. So this is because we are just started the new season and we don't have the right track or the right points, the right way to analyze which, the, which league, which team are doing good. For example, we have Netherlands. So we know that just PSV and Ajax is going to dominate that league. It's an obvious. So you see last year, Atletico Madrid, uh, dominate the league of uh, of spain and I, I did not bother what barcelona or real madrid is doing i'm going to, i'm just going to play atletico madrid so for this season i have uh, updated some but as it is a beginning so what i'm going to share with you is today <coughs> i'm going to give you the my teams that i have analyzed and what what i have done last season i'm going to do it the same this season and I, this season the difference will be that i'm going to share it with you where i want you guys to win also together with me so i'm going to tell you for today 
I have analyzed and I have these 10 teams right here, which is firstly Slavia Prague, PSG, Everton, Al Hali, Al Zamalek, Flora Tallinn from Estonia, we have Toulouse from France, Benfica, Al Hilal from Saudi Arabia, and Slovan Bratislava from Czech Republic. No, sorry, Slovan Bratislava is from Slovakia. So, what happened is that I'm going to explain to you why I took Slavia Prague. The Slavia Prague last year dominated the league with a lot of points, a lot of points advanced from the second position. And I think Slavia Prague is going to defend the league and with just too much played in that league, Slavia Prague at 1.7 odds is like a gift given from the bookies to you. PSG. PSG with the signing of the Sergio Ramos, Lionel Messi and... Uh, also Donnarumma and Hakimi and also with the player that they got of course PSG is like unbeatable this season and at the half time so last last uh, week uh, PSG was down by 1-0 and they quickly in three minutes just changed the score and it was like 2-1 they won they won the match but it wasn't enough for PSG to win like from behind so today I'm sure that uh, they are going to start from the beginning with the signing of Leo Messi Sergio Ramos playing return back from from injury to the training Lionel Messi trained and uh, Jim Mario also Neymar Mbappe they are going to dominate today so that's why you're going to play it half time with 1.55 odds Everton Everton with the injury of Calvert Lewin, also it might be difficult, but but we can. Southampton is <coughs> is a team that last season was not so stable, and they quickly drop. And let's not forget that last season, Southampton got the worst defeat away and worst defeat home, one from nine zero against uh, Leicester City and. 9-0 from Manchester United. So the so for the first match with the lineup of Richard Allison, James Rodriguez, the Everton have not lost any players and with Yeri Mina doing a good Copa America, of course Everton is a very good long shot today at 2.05 where you can double all your team, all your odds. Al Hali, Al Hali and El Zamalek from from the same league Al Hali were the first and Al Zamalek was second position last week. What happened last week is that El Zamalek won and Al Hali drew I made a draw so El Zamalek has two points advanced from Al Hali. So Al Hali is a must win to stay right behind El Zamalek and El Zamalek is a must win so that they can keep the advantage of the two points against Al Hali. Let's not forget that El Zamalek is is playing against the one who drew with Al Hali last week, which is El Ismaili. So these two, El Zamalek and El Hali, Al Hali, is a must-win situation for both. Flora Tallinn, as we know, that in Estonia we have just Levi Tallinn and Flora Tallinn who who are, who dominate that league. So. This is obvious. Flow at in half time at 1.5 is good. Toulouse last season, they missed, they dominate the league, but they missed the promotion back to League One. And right now they are in a good pace with all wins. There's no, with one draw, but uh, if uh, they win today, they are going to be in the first position against Paris FC, which is, which is playing tomorrow. Benfica, the league started uh, last week and they went in a 2-1 victory. So today also, Benfica is a good pick to keep uh, to keep their pace with uh, 6 points and 2 wins. Al-Hilal is one of the favourites in Saudi Arabia. So it's just going to be neglecting that Al-Hilal with, with a home advantage is going to knock out the, the other team that's they are playing against at 1.55 half time this is a good pick 
Slovan Bratislava. Slovan Bratislava, I'm going to show you the the one that uh, the, they are playing. So they are playing against. Uh, They are playing against uh, Mik Mikhailov C. This is a table of last season in which Slovan Bratislava won and won the league now, which means that they have to defend the league they won last year. And they are going to defend it with a team that has got only 33 points, 7 loss, 7 loss in the game, which I believe that Slovan Bratislava is a good advantage and is better than the one they are playing against with 22 victories last year, 71 points, a goal difference of plus 50, whereas this one just got minus 19. So half time, half time, Slovan Bratislava is one of the good pick. So if you are there, there are 10 teams right now here so if you're going to play the 10 teams you're going to get an odds of 110.13 and i'm going to show you the free pick that uh, i'm going to play today and i'm going to invest like 20 dollars 30 dollars for starting and i'm going to earn profit and i'm going to play with just profit so that i don't uh, take out money from the pocket so who for the banker win, it's uh, Slavia Prague win, PSG halftime win, and Al Hali win, with a total odds of 3.4, where you can triple your money. Nope. You can just wait and win with Slavia Prague, PSG halftime, and Al Hali. With a long shot of uh, where Everton is a good position, where you can double your money, where you can place a single bet. So I'm going to pick Everton as a single bet for today against Southampton and take a free points so that they can because they last year they lost the Champions League spot and the Europa League spot but in the start of the season they were good they got I think four match over four match at 12 points but they are going to go because they invest a lot with James Rodriguez, Richarlison and everything they have invested a lot, so I don't think that Southampton will be able to beat Everton today. And so this is the first uh, day of uh, football is back. And how I'm going to follow the trend now, it's uh, now that I have already my teams that I'm going to play for the entire season. And how to know that should I play it for the next week, this is where... The result of the last match take place as you can see here i won that the green is won and the yellow is draw the red is loss so what i'm going to do i'm going to show you an example for example i'm going to play club bridge so club bridge is going to play today for example make as if that they they won so i'm just going to color that that green and I'm going to know for the second week that uh, last week Club Bridge has, has won his match and maybe they are going to win this time or maybe they are just going to maybe a draw if they have a difficult match. So of course if uh, they have a difficult match I won't bother because I have a lot of teams to play. I'm just going to neglect it and go to other leagues and see if I can play Zamalek, if I can play Slavia Prague. Or there will be many teams here or if I can play Olympiakos. So I'm going to do that like this. So for example, if they won the first match and they lost the second and they drew their third. So which means now in three matches played, they have only four points. And with a club like Club Bridge who dominates the league, of course, for the fourth week, they are going to try harder. They are going to play another kind of football to win. So this will be the first pick for the fourth week. I, maybe it's difficult for you to understand right now, but follow me, subscribe to the channel, and follow all the videos that I'm going to post later for tomorrow, 
maybe for one week i'm going to post for one week i'm going to post for champions league europa i'm going to do all these analysis for you and you're just going to win go and play and win the money against bookies because maybe you're fed up that the bookies take all the money from you and we are going to win together and and make their the bookies life harder than they expected so i want you guys to follow the bettings today and try to see that if i'm good and subscribe to the channel so and, and encourage me to do that with you so subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon so that the, you got the notification where when i'm posting the video you're going to be the first one to see share it with your friends and let's wait for the result today about slavia prague psg halftime and al hali let's also wait for everton like a long shot or a single bet so thank you guys and uh, i hope you win i hope you follow the teams i have already played and i i'm sure that i'm going to win some and if i win yesterday tomorrow i'm going to to do another analysis and i'm going to post it for the earliest possible i can so that you guys can follow up and play the games so thank you guys